I think for me, the, the most rewarding part was when, you know, I work with stem cells and you, I'm trying to make neurons in a dish or maybe other brain cell types. And the moment you see your first neurons, it's really rewarding. It's like, oh my God, I, I made it. Yeah, of course. By addition, of course, of a lot of chemicals, but, <laughs> but you do, yeah, you, you have that reward. We all have that question. What can my master's degree lead to? My name is Thiago Beck. I'm a research master's student of the neuroscience program at Erasmus University Rotterdam. To find answers, I'm going to meet with a couple of alumni to hear their stories and find out what possibilities the future may hold. Today, I will visit Martina Grochowska, who graduated in 2019. Hey, Martina, it's, uh, it's Thiago. I'm on the 24th floor. Where, where can I find you? <laughs> ah. Hi. Come in. I'll show you around. Hi, Thiago. Hey, Martina. It's very nice to see you. you too. I'll uh, show you different labs today. And uh, for this, you will need to wear this lab coat. Great. Thanks. Welcome to my second home. I spend here every day, and I culture a lot of cells here. So right now we are in a cell culture lab where I culture stem cells from patients with Parkinson's disease. What we basically do is we take skin cells from these patients and we put a cocktail of chemicals and we reprogram these skin cells back into the stem cells. And these stem cells then can be differentiated into different types of brain cells. So what we do, we differentiate these cells into neurons or astrocytes. And since we are interested in a brain disorder such as Parkinson's disease, and you can visualize these cells and actually look at the expression of different proteins, but also the morphology of these cells using advanced microscopy techniques. And today I will also show you one of the microscopes that I'm using and I hope you will enjoy. And also we will see together some nice pictures of the cells that I'm actually culturing here in this lab. Gladly. So what we are looking at is uh, a pathology, a pathological case mm -hmm. from a brain, uh, from a person who suffered from Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. And in the green channel, you can see this type of pathology, which is aggregation of different proteins. And we have in green a protein that aggregates a lot in these people, and it actually causes the, the brain cells to, to die. And in other channel, we have a protein that uh, accumulates in the core of these of the those proteinaceous aggregates and these aggregates are actually called Lewy bodies and this is very common pathology in the uh, in Parkinson's disease well Martina this looks uh, absolutely fascinating and um, yeah it kind of it begs the question like beyond beyond your research how what 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 do you want to achieve in the future well I think it would be great one day to be able to treat the diseases that are right now not curable I mean, the diseases like Parkinson's disease right now, there is no treat for them. And I hope that my research will at least help with finding the, the, the treatments in the future. Yeah, I can tell that. I mean, you must spend a lot of time down here. I wonder, do you still find time to visit the old faculty? Oh yeah, definitely. We can go there right now. How does it feel to be uh, back at the faculty? It feels good. Yeah, nothing changed actually. Uh, it's uh, the same as it was uh, a few years back. Out of, out of all the incredible studies that are out there, how come you now chose the Research Master's Neuroscience? Um, I think one of the reasons is definitely uh, the two years internship mm -hmm. and that you can actually really uh, excel in your skills. You know, the two years internship gives you a lot of opportunity to very you know, much uh, look into the, the scientific questions that you're asking and also to to really uh, get more data about it and, and I think it feels more rewarding as well mm -hmm. when you actually perform your research and you know it's like a lot of masters they have this six week a uh, six months internship or mm -hmm. uh, uh, a year internship and then suddenly you 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 stop and then it's like, oh, but I'm still very curious about, you know, all the other things. And you cannot do this. And with, yeah. in this department, you can actually, you know, do it a bit longer. So they mm -hmm. give you this opportunity. And I think also the faculty is great. And there is a lot of um, 
great researchers within the, the building and they can help you to excel in your skills and they can also help you to, uh, to get, you know, to become a better, better researcher. But out of, out of all the like, wide selection that we have with clinical research, with uh, my studies, why exactly was it now gene editing for you that was the way to go? The techniques and how much you can learn. I think in my year, I could see there were a lot of people working with so many different things. There were mm -hmm. people working with patients. Sure. There were people uh, who worked with animals. There were also people who were uh, doing a lot of uh, bioinformatics, for example. And some others were doing molecular uh, neurobiology and working a lot with cells, gene editing, uh, mm -hmm. trying to apply you know, different techniques to, to answer their little research questions. And yeah. I think that's the strength of the master because you have a lot of possibilities. Mm -hmm. And it's it's within the neuroscience research field, and you can choose. You you can really choose uh, something that you you very big chance you might like. Yeah, I mean within those two years as well. Hey, within neuroscience, it, it it rapidly develops. But do you think for yourself personally as well during these two years you've had that kind of a rapid development <laughs> in uh, yeah in terms of your skills, obviously, but also just. Yeah, who, who you are in a sense. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I do notice that, you know, the beginning when you just start, you're a bit shy and you don't want to say a stupid thing because you have these professors in front of you and, you know, that could be a bit intimidating for some people. And sure. in two years' time, you actually become almost, maybe not a specialist, but you become, you know, you have a bit of a, a more knowledge about the subject, but you might even become a specialist about your particular question. So. Mm -hmm. And you, you see, it's like, wow, I've learned so much, so many new techniques. I was not expecting the moment when you see your thesis. It's like, I wrote this mm -hmm. and like I made these figures. That's yeah. really cool. Is there a part during your master's, like one of these, oh my God, it actually worked. Like the, the, the favorite experience, let's say, within yeah. the last or within your two year study. I think for me, the, the most rewarding part was when you know, I work with stem cells and you, I'm trying to make neurons in a dish or maybe other brain cell types. And the moment you see your first neurons, it's really rewarding. It's like, oh my God, I, I made it. By addition, of course, of a lot of chemicals, but, <laughs> but you do, yeah, you, you have that reward. So, Martina, thank you so much for uh, showing me around today, letting us know about your research. But kind of what, what this day has been building up to is, I guess, this last question. And that's really what from, from your research, from this master's, did you really take with you to, yeah, I guess, develop you further within your career and I guess the stages and the steps after that? So I think when you are surrounded by, by passionate people and passionate scientists, and especially the faculty of the, the neuroscience research master, that gives you as well this passion and a lot of energy to, to pursue your research questions and, and to try to you know, unravel all these uh, mysteries of the human brain. And I hope you know, when you're so passionate about your work, it also comes much easier and, and it's just you know, you enjoy doing it. And I hope one day someone else, you know, I will be able to affect someone else and someone else will become as passionate about it uh, as I am right now. Oh, great, thanks. Well, uh, yeah. thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Very much so. Very much so. I had a great conversation with Martina. Are you curious what the other neuroscience alumni are doing? Watch the other videos with Thomas and Daphne. Do you want to apply for the Research Master's Neuroscience Program? or you just want more information, go to our website and I hope to see you soon.